So I'm sitting here with Dennis Schlimgen, right? Right. Yeah. And he said this Portage Main boiler, and we're planning on possibly dealing in them. Brian up in Canada <laughs> said, hey, yeah. I got a couple places. There's another guy that's got one that, that I can come out and look at them. Sure. But then just, you know, talk through the features and, and sure. see what it is. I would say probably the biggest thing that this stove has over my old one is the fact that the blower is actually in the bottom. Oh, okay. So it, it blows is it, the air. Is it coming in the back? Well, it or? comes up. Oh, from the through bottom. the bottom, wow. So the fire will pretty much die right down if it's up to temperature. Okay. And then when it calls for heat, it's actually blowing air up from the Right bottom, up through up the up coals. Through, through the coals. And Brilliant. That's probably the the nicest feature that I see over my old stove. Yeah, did, what old one did you have? I used to have a Pacific and Western. Okay, I've got a central boiler. And that actually had a a, a damper motor in the door. Yeah, and mine has actually not a motor, it's just a solenoid door that clicks sure. open, sure. magnetic door clicks open, yep. and then it gets auto, so it's just the draft that's feeding it. So this is a powered fan? It's a powered fan, yep. Which Comes up right through the, the coals. That's awesome. And your ash door is right in front ash here? Door's right. in the front. So. Yeah, cool. Just a pan to Pull out. Pull out and it's done. Shaker on it. And the shaker just shakes the shakes the shakes the ashes out. Yep, just shakes the, the pan down. So this is actually the the damper the combustion motor. motor. Yeah. The combustion motor. Which you can see then it's actually down on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, it goes right in. Oh. Perfect, yeah. So so that I'm me, used to wearing a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I just put my hat into that. Yeah, so cool. So that to me is probably the biggest and feature. And then this is it, your. Uh, them are just the connections. I actually have one set of lines that goes down to my barn. Okay, that's why we got two. And one set of lines that goes to the house. So they kind of come set up for two directions. Right. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Yep. That's that's all, and that's clean. That's simple. And that's, that's the other thing that I really like about it. I didn't want a stove with all kinds of bells and whistles. Yeah. Now, Brian was saying they actually put a temperature sensor in the chimney. Okay. And it regulates how fast that damper motor runs. Okay, cool. So, now, how much smoke do you get out the top? Not a lot. Not a lot. I, I mean, on you know, the initial just, light. Yeah, I mean, just depending on what you're burning in it. Yeah. The drier the wood, the less the smoke. Right. I mean, you get some right. steam. I'm getting into biochar and we're designing a kiln that, you know, I was thinking about my central boiler where I get a fair amount of smoke coming out of there and, and having this draft into the hot kiln and then we'd double burn any residual from this smoke. And, and Brian was saying, well, on this furnace, you're, you're not gonna have a whole lot of extra right. double burn. Right, right. <laughs> because they, they've got some refractory cement in here, don't they? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. That, that helps it get a double burn. It can burn hotter. Are, is that able to be seen from inside the door? Oh, here too. But oh yeah, refractory cement down in the bottom for right. sure. Probably does secondary combustion up I here. I think it probably does. Yeah, so kind of dark in there. Yeah, there we go. So a little double burn combustion. So that's why there's not a lot of smoke exiting. We get a we got a secondary combustion chamber. Yeah, yeah and so do you notice a, a less amount of wood that you're burning with your um, old stove, or is it about the same? You know, I think I probably do burn a little less, and, and I think it's probably more so has to do with the damper setup on this one versus the old one. Yeah, and you don't have that sensor in the no thermostat in the I think that must be shoot, something yeah. new that they're yeah. just coming out with because he was just telling me about it. Well, great. And so you're, how many square feet are you heating with this? I heat the, the house, the garage, my hot water, and it's probably, uh, well, we can walk down that way. And this garage you heat? That car garage. That car garage, okay. And then the whole house. So yeah, you got, 3,000 square feet there, at least. Yeah, I mean, it heats a, a lot of area. So, so okay, so you heat this area here. here. I mean, obviously, this is 
normally turn down as low as the thermostat will go, so it's probably only 45 degrees. Sure. But and you just got air exchange up there? So. Yeah. And that's what I have in my, my garage, the two. Okay, a little one. Here. Yeah. And then there's a plate or a heat exchanger in the furnace, just in a regular LP sure. fan force furnace. So it runs the blower on the furnace to, to heat the house. But, and then I've got a, a heat plate. Well, actually, there's, there's a heat plate up here, too, you can see. So that, that's what heats my hot water. Okay. That plate up there. And I got the same thing in the house to heat my hot water. The key features that I'd like to mention on this stove are the refractory lined base, which eliminates the ash line corrosion that happens in a lot of stoves. The combustion air coming up through the bottom of the coals, that's a great feature. And then the heat exchange chamber at the top of the stove where the gases are rerouted and kept in the stove for a longer period of time, getting the maximum amount of heat out of the uh, gas exchange. And then finally, the, the entire top of the stove can be you know, taken off and replaced. The part that has the water in it is completely removable. Very easy to recondition this stove uh, when that time comes. And so this could be the very last stove you ever have to buy. Game of trees. We're having fun.